I am super curious what you guys think. Do these look like regular glasses? They, they look like regular glasses, right? I feel like they look normal, but they're actually bone conducting. I can actually listen to music on these. It's pretty impressive. But today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 Android apps of April for 2022. So let's just jump straight into it. So app number one on the list is called Time Jaw, and this is a great reminders app. I cannot recommend this more. You can go ahead and create your little reminders. You can type in your subject and you can assign it a category and it groups them all together. But something really powerful is you can go ahead and actually create sub notes. So for each little reminder, you can click on it, then you can create a sub reminder inside of that. And it's gonna group them together in this sort of timeline fashion and you can create notifications for each one. So if there is say a project you need to do and there's several parts of that project, you can create a reminder for the project and the due date, but then inside you can create sub reminders for each little section of that project, which is just pretty cool. But they've done a great job of keeping it all really compact and very clean and it doesn't feel cluttered or complicated to use. It's honestly a really nice app. You have the ability to search at the top here, so you can add little tags inside all your reminders and you can search through them. And it's great in the sense that it's kind of like a journal. You can look back at all the things you've done and all the little time frames, and you can add pictures and you can kind of create little memories using these reminders, which is kind of cool. App number two is Wavy Walls. This is another great wallpaper app. I'm actually using one of the wallpapers right now on my home screen from this app. And as you can see, they're very abstract, they're very pixely, they have sort of that Google theme going on, but there's 99 wallpapers to this date and they're constantly updating. All I can tell you is there are some great wallpapers. There's just an absolute great selection, super vibrant wallpapers, and they're all graphical based, so there's no pictures. Exactly how I like it. I love sort of flat, abstract graphics on my home screen. They just scream pixel. Like, don't they just scream pixel? Um, so yeah, Wavy Walls is a great app. It's got all your usual functionality. You can go in favorite wallpapers, you can download them to your device, you can apply them straight in the app, and you can even view all the, the hex codes. So if you wanna go in Photoshop and, and use these colors, you can go ahead and do that, which is pretty cool. App number three is WhatsApper. So WhatsApper actually allows you to transfer your WhatsApp history, your data, from one platform to the other. So whether it's iOS to Android or Android to iOS, you can connect your devices together this app will allow you to transfer the data. So that's previously been a big problem for people switching platforms. Even myself, I switched to the iPhone and it's really annoying to try and get all your data over onto the iPhone, it's basically impossible. It also allows you to recover WhatsApp messages that you may have accidentally deleted. And there's even a WhatsApp web section inside this app. So say you have two phones like me and you wanna use WhatsApp on your Android device and on your iOS device, you can log in through WhatsApp web and get the same experience which is pretty cool. App number four is Medium. Medium is like a social media app, basically. It's kind of like Twitter, but you can create articles rather than short little posts consisting of a couple of sentences. So people out there like physicists or biologists or, or anyone that specializes in anything, it could be marketing, it could be finance, they can go ahead and create their own interesting article based around some idea they've come up with themselves. So. In here, you can see there's a recommended section and you can view things like why I moved away from Notion. You can view eight things every person should do before 8 a.m. So inside here, people have wrote really interesting articles that you can click on and read completely free. And you can create your own articles inside this app as well. You can go ahead and applaud the article. You can comment on it. It works kind of like Twitter in the sense you can have a little conversation about the article rather than just a news app where you go ahead and read it and have no say. You can save articles for later, you can follow people you're interested in, and it's overall a great social media app that combines sort of reading articles and newsworthy information into one solid community. So go check it out. App number five is AirGuard. AirTags are a really big thing now. People have them on their wallets, they have them on their keys, on their backpacks, they're bringing them everywhere. People are using them a lot for tracking. So, you know, people are placing them in people's bags, in their cars, they're, they're you know, spying on them, seeing when they leave the house. People may even do this to try and like burgle you so they can actually look at where you are when you're out the house so they can break in and steal stuff. And right now there's no way of, of stopping that if you have an Android device. So if you wanna pick up AirGuard, it's gonna go ahead and track all the AirTags around you, it's gonna monitor them, it's gonna find out if they're following you and sort of if people are using them in malicious ways, which is a really great tool. So honestly, if you just wanna find out if there's AirTags following you, go check out AirGuard. 
App number six is called Ivy Wallet. This is a really great app for tracking your spending. You can go ahead and connect your bank account directly up to this app, but if you don't wanna do that, you can just type in the balance, which is what I've done because I didn't wanna connect anything personal or you know, important to me to this random app. So inside this app, it will monitor your income. You can add various sources of income, you can title them, and you can monitor when they come into your account. It also allows you to add your expenses. So say you have something really frequent, like paying rent or specific bills that come out your account, it's gonna go ahead and allow you to add those in and it's gonna subtract that off from your income. So you can actually see where your money is going and how much money you have left. It allows you to jump month by month and actually view your spending habits and it shows you the categories in which you mostly spend your money. And overall, yeah, it's just a great way of budgeting and sort of seeing where your money goes every month. App number seven is Courseria. This is a perfect way of finding online courses that you're interested in. So if you jump inside this app, you can go and search for online courses through numerous different topics, numerous different fields. You can search for anything you like. And when you find a topic that you're interested in, when you find a course, you can click on it, you can enroll in the course. It will tell you about the course and you know the dates, the flexibility of it how many hours are required, which language you need to know. It will tell you all the details about the course and it's gonna help you follow the course and keep track of all the sessions. So honestly, if you wanna do an online course, this is a perfect way of tracking that course and keeping up to date on all the things you need to do. App number eight on the list is called Relive and this is a great way of tracking all of your outdoor adventures. So inside this app, you can go ahead and actually create these posts and each post it will go ahead and map your adventure. So for example, this one here, it's gonna tell me where the person walked. It's gonna tell me you know, what they did. They went hiking. It'll show me the duration, the distance they went, the elevation they went to. And it basically keeps track of their whole adventure, including their pictures, any little pieces of information they wanna add. And this is a really cool way of sharing your outdoor trips, whether it be mountain biking or whatever, you can share it with people and they can go ahead and view your full trip and, and everything you did on that trip. So you can also earn medals and rewards for the activities you've done, and you can go ahead and share friends on here and you can keep up to date on all their various activities. App number nine on the list is called History, and this is an app which keeps track of the entire history of the universe as we know it. So it includes the birth of the universe, life on earth, and common era. So you can jump into each section here, and it's got this really beautiful graphical user interface, which you can go ahead and scroll through and you can learn a little bit about, you know, how the universe was created, when the sun was born. And, and if you wanna find out more information, go ahead and click on the tag and it will show you a full little article about the specific point in history. And overall, it's very interesting. If you're not interested in, say, the Big Bang, you can jump into Common Era and you can view all the various like crucial points of history. Pretty interesting. You can scroll through and see a full time scale of when all these different events happened. You can click on them, read a little bit more about them, but I just love like the way it's formatted. I love the, the graphics, the just the flow of the app. It has a good feel about it, so go check it out. And finally, the very last app on the list is called Refind. I've honestly been really interested in reading articles online recently, just about physics and about marketing and about all the things I'm curious about. And Refind, basically allows me to tell it what I enjoy to read. So in terms of what I wanna read, it might be physics or quantum mechanics or marketing or videography, cinematography, whatever. And it's gonna go right across the internet and find all the reliably sourced pieces of content that I might be interested in reading. And it does a really great job at it. Every single day, it goes ahead and puts together a list of articles that you wanna read. And they're actually from pretty reliable sources. You know, some of them are from Harvard, some of them are from Yale. There are proper university studies that you might wanna just catch up on and read just to learn a little bit more about your field of interest. It's actually really, really cool. And you can jump into this little explore page. It's got trending topics you might wanna read up on. You can go and bookmark them so you can create various groups and, and add all the articles you wanna read into that group. Then when you have some time, you can sit down and be like, you know what, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna learn some new interesting things about the world. And yeah, it's just, it's a pretty cool app for that. Hopefully I did a good job explaining it. I probably didn't. I feel like I'm doing a terrible job today at explaining these apps, but they're really great apps. Go check them out. I'll leave all the links down below. You can pick them up for yourself. And uh, if you guys could subscribe while you're down there, that would be much appreciated. I'm so stressed out right now. I've just had so many deadlines and I've just been up all night working in the library. And uh, I felt like I had to do the top apps because you know I'm always late to the game. So that's why I'm a bit croaky, a bit tired, a bit worn down and, and kind of 
shaky right now. But I'll see you guys later. Peace.